A new wind is blowing through Oatlands in central Tasmania. Its historic mill has been reopened and is now grinding out an income. The restoration took years, but it's already drawing tourists to the small town. After 120 years laying idle, the wheel is spinning and the cogs are turning again at the Callington Mill in Oatlands. It's taken five years and almost two and a half million dollars of state and federal funding to restore. Built in 1837, it's the only Georgian mill in the southern hemisphere which grinds flour with slow-turning, wind-driven stones. It's head miller Benjamin Polson's job to keep the grain flowing and producing about one tonne of flour every day. That's the body we want. We stick pretty true to what they were doing in 1745. There wasn't so much mixing of grains. You, you got what you got. And what you get is a flour as unique as the mill in which it's ground. And it's fresh. It's, it's literally two or three days or maybe a week old at the most. So we get a really fresh product. The Callington Mill is expected to create about 25 new jobs and attract 50,000 visitors to Oatlands each year. It is the authenticity of Tasmania's heritage and Tasmania's people uh, that tourists want to come to see. The opportunities for employment and for uh, uh, apprenticeships, uh, it's a, a very positive uh, project. The first order will leave the mill tomorrow. Cara Douglas, ABC News, Oatlands.